<laughs> like it. Thank you, Fritz. He loves basketball and he loves Frank Sinatra. Oh, uh, but this 15-year-old is not your average teenager. New at 5:45. Wait until you hear what he has planned in the coming months. Danger in Iraq. U.S. forces under heavy fire. It is shut down and it might not reopen for months. Details coming up. Plus, why this map could be considered the most important map in American history. Then at 5:45. I'm Mary Parks in the Inland Empire, where thousands of college students are about to graduate. We'll introduce you to one young man ready to take off for a Ph.D., and he isn't even old enough to drive. Brand new at 6 from his Beatles collection. Here's your early summer forecast. So much for June gloom for the time being. Have a great night. We'll see you at 6 o'clock. All right, Fritz. Teenager in San Bernardino County is about to graduate this weekend. Not from high school, college. Channel 4's Mary Parks says a student has been on the fast track for learning since he was two years old. This month, Joris de Guzman will receive his bachelor's degree in computer science from Cal State San Bernardino. He'll graduate with honors and speak during commencement. I wanted to be a doctor and a lawyer, and now I'll be entering my PhD at UC Santa Barbara for computer science. The only catch is, de Guzman will bring his father along to college since this graduate is just 15 years old. I like to be challenged in I stay that way, so that's what drives me to, to go forward, all these challenges and um, make me want to outdo myself. The boy from Grand Terrace has been called a whiz kid with an insatiable appetite for learning. He skipped sixth grade, even high school, jumping to college when he was just 10. Edwin and Tess de Guzman remember hearing their only child read for the first time when he was two. We thought that he was just memorizing the, the signs. And um, so we asked him, can you really read? And he said, yeah, Mom, I can read. And of course, you know, we look at each other, like, you know, questioning, can we really read? The more books he read as a child, the more free In-N-Out hamburgers the local library would give to Guzman, the perfect incentive, he says, for any growing boy. Strangers in the night, exchanging glances, wandering in the night. Karaoke and basketball are de Guzman's hobbies. Friends and teachers use words like well-adjusted and down-to-earth in describing this Frank Sinatra crooner. The de Guzmans have a invitation this month to visit the Philippines after graduation. A recording company there wants to produce the boy's music. He hopes selling his CD will pay for the education of less fortunate children in the islands. Mary Parks, Channel 4 News. Okay, here's Anna Garcia from the newsroom. A look at